Hey everyone, and welcome to my very real clubbing get ready with me. I'm going to be doing my hair, my makeup, and telling you my essentials. I always start with a candle because are you really getting ready if you don't have a candle? A jade roller, some activated charcoal, body oil, my favorite perfume, and of course my coffee and couture jewelry. Next, I always choose my outfit before I get ready because if I don't have my outfit, at least some options picked out. I go a little crazy and it's all I can think about. So here I'm picking my favorite pieces of clothing that I could possibly wear. And now it's time to get into the shower. I always shower before I go out. If I don't wash my hair, I'll feel gross. I love this Shu Umura shampoo. It's amazing and I always tone my hair before I go out or really every time I wash my hair. When I get out of the shower, this is really important. I don't dry myself off completely before I go ahead and put the oil on my skin. This ensures that it is really moisturizing. And now I'm moving on to my hair. I'm putting some blow dry cream, brushing it out, and making sure that I have no knots or anything. I actually let my hair air dry while I do my makeup. And gotta have some love from Leo. Now I'm taking my activated charcoal, not the same as before. This is to whiten my teeth and I definitely do this every time I go out. I try to do this at least two or three times a week. Oh, look at that ring light. I'm so professional. So I just go ahead and brush my teeth and now we're on to my makeup. Yeah, so you guys have actually never seen me get ready to go out and it's shocker, it's not that different. It takes me a while because I really want to focus on making the skin really pretty. For my primer, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of the professional. Oh, cap is on the ground. I'm going to be pressing that into my pores. For foundation, you guys are probably going to be very shocked at everything I put on. So I put on the heart stick. A few dots all over my face I really like mixing my foundation when I go out I find it looks the best so I'm going in with a little bit of beige and then I'm also going in with a little bit of golden tan don't judge how much foundation I put on I just like how all of these mix together and girl I'm going out so I need a good strong foundation Becca shimmering skin thing e and just dot that all around my face so it could mix in with my foundation and make me even more bronze and glowy and I'm also going to put some on my chest and to blend that in I'm gonna go in with my Becca brush you're gonna see that I use this a lot I love this brush for blending in foundation it just does it so flawlessly On nights where I'm doing a heavier look, I use this, which is a heavier concealer, Dermacolor. I just go in with a brush and I mix the first row. These are kind of hard, but they cover so well. I actually learned this from Kim Kardashian. I like to take a little bit of that and also highlight this area here, and this will bring out your face and just make this part look a little bit wider and will carve out your cheekbones. The NARS Soft Matte Concealer, and I'm just going to put a little bit of this on top because it helps blend the product and gives you a little bit of extra coverage. To blend this out, I actually take a little bit of argan oil on the back of my hand. I pick some up with my beauty blender, very little bit, dab and like dab it, and then I go in and I blend it out. And it just blends this easily and it makes it look really natural and we will go in and set everything so don't worry. I'm going to take the NYX contour stick which you guys know I love and I'm going to really darken up the side of my face and really contour around to give myself a nice tan. Because I'm being so extra, I'm going to take my Becca brush, dip it in some of this sun bronzer from Chanel or Soleil Tan de Chanel and I'm going to blend the contouring with that to give myself an even more bronzy look. I always like when my bronzer comes a little bit higher. I find that it lifts the cheekbones and gives you a really bronze look rather than just a sharp line down here. I'm using the Cody Airspun Powder. I'm just gonna go in. It smells like baby powder. And bake directly under my eyes. And this is going to set your, well, you guys know what baking does. I'm going to go and set everywhere else, but with the Beauty Blender, so 
it doesn't look powdery. I am going to let this bake a little bit because I want that to be really highlighted. Ooh, I got powder all over me. Guys, this isn't funny. I can't find my eyebrow pencil. I swear that at least one time while I'm doing my makeup, I will think I lost something, but it is right in front of my face. This was sitting right next to me. It happens every time. It makes me feel so stupid. <laughs> Anyways. Lastly for our brows, I'm going to dip into a brown powder and just set the outer part of my eye to make of my eye, my eyebrow to make it look really thick and full because I drew those babies on and we don't want them going nowhere. Not a Renaissance palette, my go-to for these orangey colors. I'm going to go in with raw sienna, blend that into my crease all over. I don't want to experiment on my eyeballs when I'm actually going out for my best friend's birthday. So. Maybe next time. I'm going to go in with this color right here. And I'm just going to pat that on my eyeball. Let's just define our outer crease. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of this color right here on my finger. On the bottom of my eye, I'm going to go in with a little bit of raw sienna again. We're taking the brown scandalized from Rimmel and we're going to do a line. I always like it best when I try to connect it to the end of my brow. Now we're going to go in and actually tight line our upper. I don't know if I should do a liquid line or not but I'm feeling like we should. So on top of that eyeliner I'm just going to layer a little bit. I was never one to really spend hours on my liquid liner. Curl your eyelashes for five seconds each side. Taking the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. Can you tell I'm focusing on the outer corner? And then I will lightly go into the inner corner. And then we will do the bottom of the eye. I can have nothing to do. I used to pick you up and drive to a place we could talk for hours. Sometimes we'd run out of words to say, but we I'm just gonna put some of the smog eyeliner on my lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Just bought this one. Where's my brush? Where's my brush? With this powder, I find it works best if you pat it into your skin rather than like blend it. For my highlight, I'm going to be using also the Charlotte Tilbury highlight because I don't like a really crazy highlight down the bridge of my nose on top of my lip. And for my blush, what else is new? going to be taking um, the Becca. For my lips, I'm going to be taking um, Strip Down all-time favorite. I don't overline my lips because I think we can all agree my lips are big enough. I'm going to take this baby lips in um, Toasted Taupe. So yeah, that's my makeup for the night. Let's go do my hair. My hair is like 90% dry, but we're just going to make sure it's all dry. When you kiss me, I feel the taste of your lipstick. So the curler I use is this one inch curler from Hot Tools. It actually came with a clamp and that I took off and I'm just going to go around first and let it heat up and then I'm going to go and curl all of my hair. I sprayed my hair with a little bit of hairspray before just so that my curls will stick because I did wash my hair today. And so I'm going to go in and just start curling my hair in about one half inch sections, starting pretty close to the top. I'm also leaving the ends not curled. And once my curl is done, you can see I like to kind of shake it. When I'm going for a more beachy look, I like alternating the way I curl my hair, which I normally don't. But sometimes to get more volume, more of a beachy look, 
I will alternate every few pieces. I'll do a different way. So that is my hair done. I'm going to let it sit and fall on its own. I'm not going to brush it out or anything because when I brush it out, then by the time I'm actually out, it just falls. I swear I'm like a walking tornado every time I get ready. Lastly, before I get dressed and everything, about half an hour before I get dressed, I put this Loving Tan Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to have something small to eat before I go out because no one wants to die. And I put it on with the mitt, and this is literally just to give me that extra bronziness. This really smooths out your skin and gives you a really nice glow. And if you have a darker foundation on, this will help you match your neck to your foundation. But be careful not to get wet because then you will be dripping color. Happened to me. Not a good time. And I'm using the Ultra Dark. If your legs are out, you can also um, put this on your legs. I'm going to be wearing jeans or leggings tonight because I'm going to like a bar that's like really casual. So I'm not going to be wearing heels. But if I was wearing like this dress or something, I would do my legs too. It just makes them look so nice and so shiny. And also, if you have any cellulite, I have some on the back of my leg. It kind of blurs. Okay, so as you can probably see in the mirror, I have literally tried on every outfit. Jana, my best friend whose party I'm going to tonight, changed it from going to a club to going to like a bar club. So I don't even know what a bar club even means. She just said you're not wearing heels. So I went with like a Kim Kardashian type of casual vibe. And this is actually what my best friend wears every time she goes out. So she's my inspiration. I could literally go to the gym right now. But it is a little crop top. And I thought it was cute. These leggings are literally the ones that I love to work out in. I love them that they go super high waisted. Very Kim K inspired. This jean jacket, which I'm actually probably going to be wearing over my elbows. But it's really cold in Montreal. So I just got it. You guys love this jean jacket. It is from ASOS. For my shoes, I am just wearing the old school Vans. I wasn't sure, but since we're going to like a bar, I thought these were appropriate. I've been loving these recently. I find them so cute, so cool, so casual looking. I love these old school bands. Okay, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. You guys have asked me so many times what I do when I go out. I've seen so many of you out, which always makes my entire night, even though I'm such an awkward potato. I love meeting you guys, and then whenever you guys say hi, I always go over to my friends. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so happy. It just makes my night. This is really what I do. I like taking my time. I don't like really getting ready with people because I take seven times longer than everyone. Not because I can't do this in an hour because I can do this in an hour or less I can but I like not being rushed so I tend to just take a really long time dry it out I just watched an episode of shameless in between getting ready and then if you're not rushed you can spend extra time on your hair and your makeup and you can feel good going out as usual if you have any questions or comments leave them down below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye guys